Welcome to Outgrow, and I'm really excited uh, you guys are getting into the Outgrow tool. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the builder. So when you get onto the Outgrow dashboard page, you'll see you have the option to choose from four content types. Let's say you click Numerical Calculator or Outcome Quiz. Then I recommend clicking Select a Template, and you can choose any template that you like. Once you find the template you like, you just click Use Template. And then you come to this page, the Builder. So the Builder has three key sections, Build, Configure, and an Analyze. Let's start off with the Build tab. Most of your time is going to be spent in this Build tab. On the Build tab, that's also segmented into three sections. The left side, which is the welcome screen, all the questions, lead generation form, and outcomes. This is the navigation. You can go to any question you want just by clicking question two, and I jump to question two. In the middle, you can see now you're on question two. The middle is basically a preview of the actual experience. So you can see in real time as you make changes what the end user is going to see. On the right is where you make the edits. So when, once I click question two on the left, on the right, question two became the field that populated over here. And I can now see the type, the question type. Is it single select, multi select, drop down, etc.? It was the title of the question. Am I using text or icons or images? And then I can see uh, the text related to each option and the mappings, right? Because it's an outcome quiz, I can map outcomes to every option. So that gives you a sense of the three main sections. Now, let's say I really like this pre made template and I only want to make a few changes to the pre made template for my business. So the first is I want to change this logo. So I click this display settings, the third sub tab on the top right, and I can change the logo over here by uploading a new logo by clicking upload. Then I can upload my logo. The next thing I can do is I can change the URL when someone clicks on the logo, the orientation of the logo, and I can change the palettes. So in this case, the background is an image. So if I want to change the image, I can just click Replace Image. If I want to remove the image, I just remove the image there, and I can have the image color. Okay, so this now the image color is going to take this color here. So let's move the color to that. Okay, so you can do that. Uh, or I can like add back the image and re replace the image. As I mentioned earlier, this looks a bit better than having this color. And then if my theme for my uh, this button, I don't like it, it doesn't fit with my brand, I can click Component, and I can change it to like a red. Um, as I go down, or I can just put the hex code right in there, and you can see now it's like a red, um, a red button, okay? And you can see all the other the arrows also change as well. And then the text color, if I don't want it white, I can also change that to like a darker color, and the text you'll see will change to different shades as I move around on the right, and so you can see the text color change. So you can kind of tweak it for your brand as well. But the key thing to think about when it comes to the builder on the right side is that these three sections, one is display settings, one is lead generation. The lead generation you can put well, on the welcome screen. You can put it as a page right after the questions. You can put it right above the results, but before the results are actually shown. And you can put it with the results while the results are shown at the same time. So you can see them simultaneously. And if you're not sure which one to choose, you can just click with the results. And you'll see that the legion form moves now from right after the question to right next to the result. And you can see before the results, oh, the legion form now jumps up above the result page and blocks it, it kind of darkens around the result page. And after the questions, it comes as a separate page here, after questions. So you can tweak these, uh, these things and see in real time in the center view how things look. And you can, of course, also change certain aspects of the lead gen form. So that's lead generation. We cover display settings. And the last is the page properties. And this is where you edit this each question. You can change the image associated with the question. You can change the mapping. And you can change the text associated with the image or the title of the question or the type of question. So you can make a lot of different changes. But this gives you a sense of kind of the builder format. Another thing I wanted to make sure I mention is that if you wanted to edit log, if you wanted to add logic jump, you can add it here. Okay, this allows you to uh, um, kind of skip 
certain questions uh, or jump to certain questions based on what's most relevant. The last thing I want to cover on the build page is the outcomes. So when on the bottom left you'll see outcomes if you're on an outcome quiz and you'll see results if you're on a uh, calculator. So when I click the, on the bottom left outcomes or I can scroll down to the bottom I'll see the outcomes. You can tweak this outcome by, on the right side because this is where you edit the page properties. You can tweak the heading, the description, and you can have a specific call to action for each outcome page. So you have a specific heading, a specific redirect a URL for each page. And that's the advantage of, um, of this kind of personalized uh, feature in Outgrow is that each outcome can have a different call to action, a different heading, different text, different images to really create a personalized experience. And when you click outcomes or results in the bottom left, you'll see settings on the top right. This allows you to add disclaimer text, add the option to start over, um, allow users to show multiple outcomes, and then add social media related uh, features. So you can add the option for them to share on social, and you can add the option for them to subscribe to social or uh, subscribe to social feeds. And you can see that if I put both options, uh, you can see them as well. Be on the top right and the bottom left. So that covers the build tab. The, the main thing on the top right on the build tab is that you can see that all changes are saved. You can copy the live quiz URL to clipboard here. This allows you to easily generate the link to the calculator. Um, this allows you to preview it without publishing. And this allows you to go live and actually publish. Over here, you'll see the option to contact support or watch some help videos. You can also contact support right here on the bottom right, and this is the best place to reach us and contact us and ask us questions. Now I want to move on to the Configure tab. In the Configure tab, you have the SEO settings, the general settings, SEO settings, local settings if you want to localize language and number systems, and then you can set the email notifications to your users, you can send email notifications to yourself, and then you can set up integrations with your marketing automation tool, and then you can embed on a web page, get the, the code to embed on a page, etc. So it's a very powerful tab. And the last tab is the Analyze tab. The Analyze tab basically helps you see the overview of your metrics, your user details, and your user funnels. I'm going to go into more detail on the Analytics tab in another video with a published calculator that has traffic. Um, but this is kind of the third key tab. Hope this was helpful.